Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened.
What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know, trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. Well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just... wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. Alright. Deal. Ollie's diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so much on my mind. Go ahead. I'll catch up. I need to respond to a message. Uh huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. 
Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. No noni, Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just... You know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh, all right. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, you two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, uh so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so... Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam? We all gotta get going. Oh. Uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I... Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm, this place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her, and... And it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh... Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. 
The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder! Man, I wish we had a toaster. We could stock up on frozen waffles.
Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Sugar rush it is. Let's see, fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. You only live once. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. I'll take the strong one. Got any big plans in Juno? Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? school there. I'm gonna be a chef. Oh, you gonna open up your own restaurant? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What do they think up next, huh? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Snob much? It's not that bad. Weren't you the picky eater when we were kids? What do we still need to get? Something to drink. That pumpkin's huge. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Grape soda it is. Ooh. Wild. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but... 
It was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. No, never mind. Guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? I want to talk to you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? No, Tessa was. She went all Jack Thompson on her. I want to... Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? You hearing this? Marianne was looking for... Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? I don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. 
This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> but duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Hmm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on... Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. <laughs> oh, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. It was Tessa gave to Mary Ann. I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. This is true. I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa for some hard proof.
kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. Oh, just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Is there something I can do for you? Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? I think we've got a good sense of the situation. It's time to confront her. All right. We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah. We didn't think you guys were arguing about money. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was... coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help. Both of you, at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. Now. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, 
I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. Well, get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Can we grab our groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just, uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she... had my back? It really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. 